Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock and in this tutorial, we're going to disconnect related items via the Jetform Builder forms from the front-end. Together, we will create relations from scratch and also build and set up a form for disconnection. If you're not subscribed to our channel, consider doing that and also don't forget to hit the notification bell. For this video, I prepared a case where, let's say, a top manager will be able to disconnect the real estate agent from the needed property right from the front end. It's fast, easy, and doesn't require dealing with the back end. Before we proceed, make sure you have Jet Engine, Jet Form Builder, and Jetim Core plugins installed and activated, and also a created single template for a parent, child object, or both to place a form there. So the Jet Engine Relations feature allows you to connect, create, and edit related items on the editing page of posts, CCT items, users, and taxonomies on the back end. Before we start creating a relation, let me explain a bit of what will be parent and child object in this tutorial. The first case will be disconnecting child objects from parent ones. The parent object will be a property and the child object will be a real estate agent. And in the second part of this tutorial, I will also demonstrate how to set up the form for disconnecting the parent object from child1. So, let's start with creating a relation. I already added properties and agents CPTs. And just so you know, you can also use taxonomy, users, or CCT for relations. Now proceed to the Jet Engine, Relations, and push the Add New button. A name for this relation will be Properties to Agents. Now in the Parent Object drop-down menu, I will choose Properties and then set Agents as a child one. In the Relation Type Selector, pick the Suitable option. If you are not sure which one to choose, take a look at our article on how to choose and set post relations. The link will be available in the description box below. In my case, I will set it to Many to Many. Now below you will find Parent Relation. This option is needed for creating grandparents' relations. In my case, it is empty because there are no other relations on my website. However, you can select any relation here if needed. Finally, let's set up the following controls. These are used to make editing of relations convenient using the WordPress dashboard. The difference will be noticeable when editing the posts. That's an example of parent-child control enabled. This way, only the parent object will have controls for connecting the items. And vice versa, register controls for child object and allow to create new parents from children switchers will allow parent objects to be connected only via child items. For our case, we will need only register controls once. That's it. Hit the Add Relation button. And the second step is to create related items. I will proceed to the Properties CPT to connect related agents. If you enabled both controls, you can open either parent or child object. So once you added the CPT post and scroll down, there will be children or parent objects depending on what post you're editing. So in my case, it says children agents. I will click the connect agent button and choose the needed one. 
OK. I will repeat the same step with the next property. Once you connected the needed items, we can proceed to building a form for this connection. Go to JetForm Builder and add a new form. I will name it Children Disconnection. Leave the default settings of the hidden field block and delete the text one. Click on the toggle block inserter button and place the select, radio or checkbox field block to display the child items in the form. Keep in mind that the radio and select blocks show only one related item and it suits the one-to-one -one or one-to-many relation type. And the checkbox shows one or more items and it matches the many-to-many -many or one-to-many relation type. In my case, I will use the checkbox field block to be able to display several child items from the many-to-many -many relation. Since I have the connection between posts, I will select the post as the source in the field options from field and define the needed post type. As I want to choose the related children for the relationship properties to agents, I will choose the agents post type. In the block general settings, fill in both field label and form field name. Now press the dynamic tags button in the default value field to open the pop-up. This preset will pre-fill the checkbox block with the related objects. Pick the related items option in the source field and then select the name of the needed relation. Set from object field to the child object option and initial object ID from will be current object ID as we want to place the form on the single page. Now press the update button and proceed to the jet form settings. Unfold the Post Submit Actions tab. Select the Connect Relation Items option and click on the pencil shaped icon to edit the action. In the new pop up window, select the needed relation and then pick the name of the hidden field as the parent item ID. As the child item ID, Select the label of the created field for the related items. In my case, it is checkbox block. Since it is needed to display the child objects in the form, choose the We update in children items for the parent object option in the update context field. And finally, in the how to store new items field, pick the disconnect selected items option. And that's it with the form. Make sure you publish or update it and we can move on to the next step. Go to Croco block Theme Builder to place the form on the single page template. Right here, choose or create a single template for the parent. On the template body, click on three dots and hit the Edit Content button. In the Elementor or Gutenberg editor, place the JetForm widget or block to single template. Choose the needed form in the drop-down menu and customize other settings according to your needs. I recommend picking the Page Reload Submit type to display all changes on the page after the form submission. Hit the Update button. Now let me go to my website and open this property. 
As you can see, there is an agent connected to this post. And below is a form for a disconnection. Now with the same agent checked in the form, I will hit the submit button. The page is reloaded and now there is no connected agent. And if I edit the post and scroll all the way down, you will notice that the children agents section is empty, meaning that everything is set up correctly. By the way, if you want to display only connected children on the parent page, it's super easy to do using the Jet Engine plugin. So first of all, you will need a listing template for child items. I created a listing for the post type agents. And then I pulled the needed information using the dynamic image, dynamic link, and dynamic field widgets. The next step will be creating a query, since we want to display not all posts, but a certain child object connected to the parent one. Create a new query and set it to post query type. In the general tab, select the needed post type, in my case agents, and publish as a post status. Now proceed to the post and page tab and press the dynamic tags button next to the post in field. First of all, choose related items from the list, then select the needed relation. Set the from object field to child or parent and choose the current object ID option for the initial object ID from field. Don't forget to hit apply and then add a query. And finally, open the page with the disconnection form. At the listing grid widget, select the template. And what's more important, unfold the custom query tab, enable it, and choose the query you've previously created. Now the user will see only a connected child object on the front end. If you want to disconnect parent objects from child ones, there is a slightly different approach. So when creating a form, set up the checkbox block to the parent post type. Then in the preset right here, change from object to parent object. And finally, set up the connect relation items action. Make sure you set child item ID to post ID and in the parent item ID set your checkbox, radio or select field block. Finally, in the update context field select we updating parent items for the child object. And now you have a form for parent disconnection. Of course, don't forget to connect related items and make sure to place the form on the single page template for the children. Here is the result on the front end. Now we are on the agent's page, which is a child, and the properties in this case are parent objects. So with this form I'm doing parent disconnection. I will leave all these properties checked, and then hit submit button. And as you can see, they are gone from the listing grid. On the post editing page, the parent properties section will be empty as well. By the way, we have a really detailed written guide available on our website. You will find a link under this video.
And this will be it for today's tutorial. Now you know how to disconnect related items via the JetForm Builder form from the front end. Give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.